Let's get into that soaking Saturday across the Maritimes. Unfortunately, rainfall warnings have been issued. This is sort of showing you the severity and the intensity of this rainfall that's been happening this morning. Some of the radar estimates have been picking up about 25 millimeters of rain falling per hour hour in places like Halifax. Of course, Halifax just two weekends ago in some regions saw close to 300 millimeters of rain, so we do not need any more rainfall in the region. Halifax is in the rainfall warning, Sherbrooke, Port Hawkesbury, and Charlottetown PEI. Essentially, we're looking at a band of moisture, a stream of moisture that is just flowing right over top of Halifax and pushing up towards Charlottetown. This area of low pressure associated with this, it's going to hold over the region into the afternoon. The thunderstorm risk is widespread. We have been looking at rain today across New Brunswick, but it's all fairly light in nature. The heaviest, again, really targeted towards that Halifax region. So as we look at the temperatures today, temperatures are nice and comfortable, but this certainly isn't going to be the type of day where you'll want to be in a tent camping, that's for sure. 21 degrees in Halifax, 22 in Moncton, really soggy in Charlottetown, and you can expect the rain to stay with you through the morning hours, but beautiful in Newfoundland. Newfoundland, your weather has certainly been fantastic. You have had such an incredible stretch. Today, another beautiful day. Gorgeous in Cornerbrook at 24 degrees. It was really foggy this morning, the northern tip of Newfoundland. Yesterday, we saw some really great conditions. This is a look at St. Anthony Harbor yesterday. But I'll tell you, it's not going to look like that as we go Sunday and in through Monday. And that's because all of this heavy rain that's in the Maritimes, this is moving into Newfoundland. So this shows you here through Saturday afternoon, those bouts of heavy rain still likely to continue and then that front continues to push further to the east and that will drag some rainfall up the western edge of Newfoundland along the south coast and by the time we're into Sunday, late morning and into the afternoon, the Avalon, you can say goodbye to all of those gorgeous blue skies that you have been seeing. This area of low pressure will linger over Newfoundland and it's actually going to drive some of the temperatures down as well. So take a look at this, Sunday morning, 12 degrees, that's it in St. Anthony. A cold rain in Cornerbrook, 13 degrees, 14 in St. John's. As for this rainfall, Halifax, your timing for the heaviest rain certainly is Saturday morning. The rainfall lessening through the afternoon, and then Sunday, you will be in that drying out phase of this system. 17 degrees in Charlottetown, Sunday morning, same kind of story. You should be done with some of those showers. And then into Sunday afternoon, it looks like we could still see a bit of a thunderstorm risk into Truro and Sydney and Charlottetown. Halifax, however, drying out and then that concentrated, consistent rain, the wet weather lingers into Newfoundland. So it's this system that's slow moving and that's the trouble is it can really drop a lot of heavy rainfall and then hold that thunderstorm risk in place as well. Now the next system will continue to watch. If you watch the Maritimes here, you're nice and dry as we go into Monday, but to the side of your screen, wait for it. It, here it comes. This is the next big system that's likely moving in Tuesday afternoon. So a soaking week ahead for Halifax Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll see it in Charlottetown as well, even into Thursday, holding on to some of that rain and a very similar setup in Fredericton too. St. John's, a wet week ahead in your forecast. You'll get that system Thursday.